Hello and thanks for watching another random palm reading. It's my first one of 2024 and it's my 100th palm reading as well. And I'm trying to do things a little bit more differently now, a bit higher quality. I've upped my game. You can see my beautiful face on the screen a little bit bigger than before, perhaps. I'm, do I'm trying uh, to go full HD. Wow, how 2012 of me, rather than doing all of this on my phone. So I've, you know, downloaded a few apps and hopefully this experience will be a little bit better for those who have watched a few of my videos and if you're new to this thank you and please subscribe and hopefully the quality will only get better from here on in so I've brought I've got here on screen two palms left and right and this person sent me their palms um, about well in September and they are all I know about them is that they are 49. They've lived in Cyprus for 22 years and they're planning to move. And this is all I really know about them. Other than that, everything else is what I can tell you uh, and discern from the palms alone. And what I can see here, I mean, first of all, you can see the left palm and the right palm look quite different in terms of size and shape. And that's because the image was taken flat on in on the right hand and on the left you can see there's a slight angle and this can distort findings so i always tell people well actually i don't always do this but i should do um so if you are thinking of sending your palms to me please do that's fine but just make sure that the image is taken flat on so the left palm looks as though the palm is on the kind of longish side whereas actually it's not it's actually more or less square it's got a slight rectangular ish thing going on all in all it's confusing because the fingers are so chunky and this is in line with someone who has a strong personality their um, their skill set is quite sort of aligned actualized and they know what they want. They're a very driven person, very ambitious, no-nonsense person. This is someone who will get the job done uh, very efficiently. Probably quite sort of brutal in their efficiency. Uh, but as I say, a strong personality. And you always see these thick, this kind of thickness um, by comparison with the palm of the fingers with people who uh, are leaders. You always see this. Um, so th this is this is the hand of a leader just because as well as this notice that Jupiter is actually on the pointed side here it's a little bit pointed as is Mercury and both these two fingers are more pointed than the middle fingers than uh, Apollo and Saturn and this you always see this with leaders managers um, teachers people who are in positions of authority that are delegating in some way so this is in in part the hand of a leader but there's more to it than that i would expect this person to be a manager of some sort uh, but in terms of you know just sort of discovering who this person is as a sort of basic character type you've got here obviously as i said that the thickness of the fingers but this is a long palm and long fingers but only just there's there's other elements going on here so they're a water palm but there's a fiery elements of them as well and being water and fire is quite a rare combination there's a lot of duality so whilst this person has uh, a very sort of uh, destructive and fiery and able and efficient uh, and hard working sort of side to them hard essentially side to them there's a very sensitive side as well and there's a very intuitive side and this is someone who's certainly in touch with their um, imagination look at this well-developed amount of Luna look at notice how the heel of Luna well not so much a heel but the percussive side or the um, ulna side of the palm there is 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 very well developed and this is always seen as, with someone who has a rich imagination um, and someone who is very in touch with their intuitive side very instinctive um, someone who kind of knows how to react in the moment and this is very helpful with uh, particularly leaders or bosses and managers in positions where they have to think on their feet and they have to be instinctive and know um, what to do in the moment take a look at both of the thumbs they're on the pointed side 
and this is they sort of taper off is always seen in people who have expensive tastes, people who spend quite a lot of money. And uh, again, I feel like this is in line with the role that she's in. This is someone who is um, certainly not, doesn't have, you know, this kind of air of superiority around them. They just have refined tastes. And, um, you know, they, they probably spend as quickly as they earn. And I would think this is someone who is quite focused on uh, money. Money to them is um, luxury and it's security, as it is for most people. And you can see that they're thinking about money by the way their headline uh, kind of reaches um, upwards towards this uh, plane of upper Mars. Uh, you always see a little sort of flick off the headline with people who are thinking about money and this for this person occurs around the age of I'm going to say 32 maybe 35 and I think it was at this time that this person had a divorce and the reason why I say that is because if we zoom in a little bit notice how you've got here two lines that kind of reach up from Venus it's a bit harder to see on the right hand but you can see it more on the left there and it kind of travels in from Venus it's a bit sort of bitty and all over the place but sure enough it reaches up on towards uh, Mercury and this is a change line and it, the, this change comes from close to home this is the area of Venus is stability family friends love relationships it's what's familiar and our uh, family life when a change comes from this family crosses the major uh, three sort of uh, Palmer lines you know that this has affected all areas of this person's life and it's reached up onto this sort of ivory tower part of the palm the mercury mount where we um, what's revealed about ourselves is put on display so a divorce is always everyone always knows about it because so many people get dragged into it and it affects so many people's lives and you know money comes into it as well often it, it, it affects all aspects of a person's life you're gonna have to you know attend appointments and you know, put off work temporarily the stress might mean that you can't work or you know it's it's going to affect all areas and so essentially there isn't any one name for this line I just call it a change line some people might refer to this uh, particular uh, line as a divorce line it's not as you know well connected or as straightforward as other change lines of this sort of nature which might mean that uh, this person tried not to allow it to happen that fought for their relationship essentially in any case there was a divorce I believe and around this age or some sort of breakdown of relationship that's very similar to that and you can see that the headline begins to flick upwards at this time so they're thinking about security at this time financially but also at the in that same time the headline begins to develop an island and so obviously this this was an extremely stressful period for this person uh, and brought about either anxiety or depression a great mental strain and uh, you can also see emotional disappointment by the way uh, the heart line reaches uh, you know it reaches down towards the lifeline but this is a different period in this person's life this this affected this person we're going back now and jumping backwards from the age of around about 32 to 36 where this divorce took place and I know that's quite a broad window of time but it's not really possible to accurately um, determine when this divorce occurred because I can't see um, the radial side of the palm where the lifeline begins and you can see here that the lifeline crashes onto uh, sorry a branch from the heart line forgive me crashes into the lifeline at the age of around about 18 I'd say and this shows where this disappointment took place so this might be an early relationship uh, where it all fell apart or perhaps this person um, you know lost the grandfather or something like that at the age of around about 18 and so generally speaking it's more around disappointment this this kind of hurt when the heart line reaches for the head at this time reaches for 
the lifeline as well because it's jo still joined at this time. So this the heart's reaching for external environmental support, and uh, you know the, the heart asks the mind for logic as well. Um, what's also interesting is that we've got here from this time where the heartline crashes into the lifeline. As I say, you've got another island here that develops. And this is up until about the age of about 26. So again, we've got a great period of uh, difficulty for this person. And after this time, things look good. I mean, not exactly plain sailing. There's still a lot of obstacles for this person. As you can see, uh, you know, branches rising through the Venus Mount. This person's probably had um, obligations at home to think about and uh, to work hard towards. And this is certainly a person who works very hard in order to uh, make ends meet. And you can see that they're sort of, they're, they have a loyalty to their, um, to their ambitions, their goals, because this is a loyalty line and it reaches the, the lifeline at the same place as the success line begins to grow. And this is on the left hand. So this is uh, internally. So we can see how this person perceives what they want to happen. And it's very strong. And this is a good sign because it shows us a, a, a sign of things to come, or at least it can indicate when we cross-reference uh, the right hand, what's going on here in conjunction with this, we see also a very strong loyalty line. And, th and this again shows us that uh, this divorce here was not uh, due to this person being unfaithful, I believe, because of the strength of these loyalty lines. You don't really see loyalty lines like this with people who have committed adultery. So as always in Palm Street, all you really ever have is lots of potentially very strong circumstantial clues and you have to link these together and draw your own conclusion. And so this loyalty line here, it's it's harder to see the success line partly because uh, of, of the image quality here on the right hand. But what you do see is that on the, the right hand you see uh, what a person, it, how, how a person is affected by the same circumstances but externally physically, materialistically. And for this person, actually the lines on the right hand are much stronger than on the left hand in terms of materials. So what we see here, this this uh, idea about what they want to achieve because of their long-standing loyalty to their work life and their family, uh, we see this actually coming into fruition for this person particularly from the age of about 53 onwards. And it's, as I say, it's harder to see it in this image, but this person has sent me their palms previously in an email about a month before. Um, no, forgive me. September, they sent me a, a, a clearer images in terms of the right hand. And so I can see that, uh, and I just checked literally just moments before beginning this video, that this person has or will have a highly um, lucrative, there we go, I found the word I was looking for, uh, lifestyle from the age of about 53 onwards. Their, their success line, their sun line is very, very strong, particularly on the right hand. It's still good on the left, but on the right hand, it's particularly strong. And w w also we have here on the Mercury Mount a money line or this is what it's referred to as a money line. And you always see it's the kind of the tail end of a, um, an intuition line that you see on the hands of business uh, people. And it's very strong here as well. And you can literally read it side by side with this uh, success or sun line. Now look at the career line. This, it, it really is something. Notice how on the left hand, it's not as strong as on the right hand here. So here I'll just show you, here is the career line. And here's the career line on the left. And the clear difference is not only is that, you know, the strength and the length of it, look where it begins there on Pluto, right on the heel there. And this is always 
a sign of someone who um, in Eastern palmistry has come back from a past life to finish something uh, that was left that they didn't manage to achieve. And it's, it's fascinating to me to see that we've got here uh, not a break, but an overlap in uh, the fate line. So we see a shift as, as, as to this sort of person's life path on their left hand. So they they changed their idea about what it is they should be doing and want to do. Now, a career line that kind of comes from Luna, like this area, the heel of the palm here, um, is, is always seen with people who have um, or want, especially on the left hand now, because it's internally, a career that is with an audience. Uh, a career where they work for and with others, but particularly where people are watching them in some way. Now, being that we've got a relatively long Jupiter and a long, uh, this is a very long Mercury finger, particularly as it's you know lower set uh, than the rest of the fingers, which is common. But look at where it lies; it it's, it reaches further than the first phalanx of Apollo, and it's you know considerably. So we have here someone who is articulate; they are very in touch with their emotions and they probably have a way of uh, probably quite a descriptive person because they're quite imaginative as well with this uh, well-developed lunar but I also think that this is someone who probably has quite a good uh, go out on a limb here and say probably can sing I think this is probably a singer water hands don't make the best singers but fire hands do and this is both a water and fire hand and given that this also is a person that has, I mean, the angle of, this is known as the angle of pitch in palmistry, whereas this one is known as the angle of time or proficiency. And you always see it with people who have a good sense of rhythm, a good sense of timing, natural sort of body clock, but also they have a good sense of routine as well. They're quite sort of, uh, you know, set in their ways. They like a good structure to their lifestyle. You will see it in military men and golfers as well for some reason. But this is known as the angle of pitch, and you always see it with people who can sing and can and do sing. It does sit as much on the right there, but as I say, you know, the way in which an image is taken always um, can have some sort of effect on uh, findings. So for me, I feel like this person is some sort of. Um, wealthy or at least in, even in the way they carry themselves they, they there's an air about this person where they have an authoritative air about them i think others might look at them and think of them as someone who's a little bit sort of i don't want to say upper class i'm finding it hard to describe but this person has a natural kind of um nobleness about them, if that makes sense, even though they might well have come from humble beginnings. This is someone with refined tastes, and they probably have an ability to spot things in the shop and know which is, you know, just want the most expensive thing without knowing what those things cost. Um, I think this is someone who uses their voice quite literally. I think they're good with their voice. We've got a very well-developed amount of Neptune, exceptionally well. And this is, again, in line with this person's ability to articulate, persuade others. They're a very persuasive person as well. This is a very intelligent and gifted individual. And I think, I think I'm think i certain this person uses their voice in a very powerful way in their role. So this person, I believe changed what it is they wanted to do with their life at about around about the age of about 18 19 and perhaps because that's what i see here with this overlap of the career line or the fate line and perhaps this coincides with this disappointment uh, experience i'm only saying that because this is around about the age of 18 so is this maybe 17 so it's it's about this age anyway late teens and i feel that uh, both these events are um, are intertwined. They're, they're connected somehow. There's 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 certainly a connection there. Now this little 
um, how can you say, what's this called, um, an effort line or an improvement line. You can see it rising from the lifeline. Lines that rise from the lifeline are always efforts made, improvements to a person's life. Now notice where it's rising. It's rising up towards Apollo. This is the sun in their life. This is what makes them shine. It's also what makes life shine for them. It's happiness, security, peace. It's joy. It's talents. It's uh, reputation, glory, and vanity. And when we see a line rising towards this area, often it's someone attempting to achieve in an area uh, that's related to creativity or talents. And again, I think this comes back to performing in some way because of, of their, their career line and because of other uh, signs I've seen in their hands and other tributes of uh, being the strong um, Neptune mount, which is the ability to captivate an audience, as well as the Jupiter and um, the Mercury fingers. These, This is the finger of um, leading and decision making and ambition and ego, very sort of masculine qualities, if you like. And then Mercury is the finger of communication and expression, learning and um, when we see two very uh, long Mercury and uh, Jupiter fingers in conjunction with each other, and the, and the two that are quite very pointed as well, we see someone that likes to pass on information. Uh, a pointed Jupiter is always someone who, you know, and this is why it's seen in the hands of managers, they like to delegate and explain things. They're very good at that. You will see it in the palms of teachers as well. And that in line with Mercury, shows us someone who is, is very able and articulate at doing that as well. So these two just go hand in hand. And also we see the classic uh, teacher square here. Um, whoops, just here, look. And it's not fully formed as such. You don't see that, uh, that one side completing it. So it's not as though they are a teacher as such, but I do think that they're their role has a kind of byproduct of teaching to it. So coming back to what this means here, it's around about, whoops, around about the age of 40, uh, I'm going to say this is a couple of years ago for this person, about 47-ish, maybe, maybe it's now, where they're making efforts and in advancements in their, um, either their finances, or they are advancing in a certain uh, creative talent. So perhaps they're, um, they're getting lessons in something to prepare them for um, something else. And that something else is seen a couple of years later, and that's when they will move. They won't be moving just yet. I don't think they'll move until their late 50s. That's when I think they'll move the, the move will occur for this person, probably about 58. Um, and after this time, what we see here is potential. Notice this island at the end of the lifeline. Now you see it on the left hand. It's not as strong on the left hand. It's stronger on the right. I'm not looking forward to explaining what this means. But I want this person to... Uh, pay particular attention to their um, their bladder, their thyroid, because, and that's, I mean, it's common around this age where the thyroid becomes a little bit weakened. You can see here the, there's three lines on uh, the tip of mercury. You always see this with the thyroid issue, but also there's a few other little lines beginning to develop on all the tips of the fingers there. And this is someone who is, it shows someone who's unable to know when to stop working. They um, work themselves a little bit overdrive. Um, there's a there's a threat of adrenal kind of burnout going on. And this is in line again with thyroid issue. So selenium is uh, a supplement that's highly, highly recommend taking omega-3 oils as well, fish oils as well. And this will help deal with any kind of side effects uh, and help uh, regulate that thyroid issue. But also the bladder as well, the urinary tract, um, the, the kind of the waterwork systems. I want this person to 
drink more water. And also, uh, what's it called? If this person experiences any kind of uh, inflammation of um, the tract in that kind of area of their body, solidago is, is a superb um, natural sort of herbal anti-inflammatory. Obviously, I'm not a doctor and consult your doctor if you're going to take my amateurish advice, uh, advice on any of these things, but I have seen this uh, work with a tremendous effect. I used to work in a health food shop, and, and I often find that um, the knowledge of, of that work cross, crosses over now to palmistry very well. Now, there is another issue here um, that I am uncertain of. I believe that this person has already um, some sort of health issue that they have dealt with or are still dealing with that they have probably kind of carried with and managed their whole life or at least for quite a large uh, time and it might have been around the age of about 23 24 that this happened um, I'm not entirely certain it's a it's a bit it's a bit of a mystery for me in any case I've not seen this uh, this before so it's on their first bracelet which would suggest that this has occurred um, no later than 30 for this person and it could be that actually it, it, it occurred at the very beginning of their life and it's something that they somehow managed to, to cope with I believe this issue might well be uh, in an inflama uh, inflamed related uh, disease or issue of some sort now the other thing that's actually the best thing in uh, in terms of a herbal alternative actually the best thing I believe at all to deal with inflammation is curcumin not turmeric everyone thinks that turmeric <clears throat> is marketed very well is is an excellent anti-inflammatory curcumin is the uh, active anti-inflammatory in turmeric it's 17 times stronger and if you buy curcumin the uh, concentrated extract in its purest form which is actually quite difficult to get hold of it's remarkably effective I've noticed um, people that have dealt with inflamed related issues osteoarthritis rheumatoid arthritis that have tried everything for many many years only to find that curcumin is the only thing that works for them and I myself have had amazing results with uh, chronic back pain through using curcumin so I highly recommend that if this person if you are struggling with something that's inflamed related uh, obviously again consult your doctor but I highly recommend curcumin so I believe that it's not until this person's sort of late 50s that they will move they are thinking about moving they've lived in the same place for 21 years that really would coincide with my prediction about this person's uh, potential divorce uh, because if you take 21 years away from the current age they are now 49 that would put her around about the age that I predicted this person had their divorce so that makes a, that makes sense I reckon this person probably did move after this relationship breakdown makes sense most of us do we don't stay with our partners when we uh, when the relationship breaks down but this little effort line here this um, that's what this is an effort line it does seem to be occurring around about this age for this person so it had crossed my mind that perhaps this is the move for this person I don't think it's going to be a long distance move if that's the case but what I do think is if th this move is that if that's what this is it's going to have a tremendous effect on their happiness and well-being so that's that's a remarkable thing to see and I'm really pleased about that I think this person has one child we can see here there's two places at least two places on the palms that children show up that I'm aware of and that's the family ring here but there's also a family ring on um, the mercury uh, not quite the mercury mount but the the ring here where the mercury finger meets the mount and you can see here a large island on it just here and this for me represents this person's I believe son I could be wrong about that um, but I believe as I say this person is loyal to their family to the the causes that they uh, hold dear 
So overall, I see very happy times for this person on the horizon, just around the corner, in fact, for this person, a lot of peace, a lot of prosperity and financial security. I think this person is going to be very happy. The main uh, hurdle for this person is this right here. And I believe that this can be solved through, I think it's a health issue, a uh, potential health issue. And I think it can be combated at the very least with the use of anti-inflammatories and also high con uh, concentrated CBD oil as well. And that's because it kills off free radicals and has a tremendous uh, amount of positive knock-on effects in the body as well. Water, I cannot stress enough, uh, this person needs to drink more water as well. So I hope that all makes sense. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this palm reading and and the new way that I'm doing these palm readings. I get to move my hands around now. I'm not just squinting, staring and jabbing at my phone with my uh, grubby fingers. So I'm really pleased about uh, the new setup. I hope you are too. I hope you've gained something from this video. I hope it's been enjoyable and uh, I hope to see you next time. So if you like this video, please give it a like and please give it a subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.